Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Remember, Sundays and Wednesdays, that's when we meet. Sundays in the morning, then Wednesdays in the evening. Now, here's the uh, principle for today. This morning, I capture my thoughts in the words, blinking red lights. Blinking red lights. You know, I, I mean, um, uh, red we, we, always, we always know uh, uh, red traffic lights mean stop. That means don't go, you know. And, um, and sometimes, you know, people will jump the red light and they jump the red lights to their own peril. Now, those red lights are supposed to warn us that there is danger ahead or there are things there. Are you aware that in life, sometimes God puts on red lights for you? And those red lights are not just red lights that are just standing this thing, but they keep beeping, beep, 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 you know, like that. And they, they are really blinking. And the purpose for them is to warn you that there is trouble ahead. In Judges chapter 16, I read the story of Samson and Delilah. I know a lot of people do not like Samson, but be very careful how you judge people anyway. Because Samson found his way in the God's Hall of Fame in Hebrews chapter 11. So let's be a little bit lenient with Samson. But I'm not going to be lenient with him this morning. Why? Because in Judges chapter 16, enters Delilah, the Philistines had tried all means and the anointing upon Samson's life was so powerful that there, nothing they could do. If a lion comes, Samson will rip the lion apart. If, if men come, I mean men come, garrison will come against Samson and he'll kill them. The guy was just anointed and powerful. He was so anointed that I'm amazed, you know. You go to a city, they lock you up and they shut the gate and then you go and then you pick the, the, the gate and the, and the pillars of that city, huge gates, and carry it on your shoulder and just walk away as if to say, you want to, you want to cage me. I mean, the guy was brutally anointed. But in Judges chapter 16 comes a story and that story left me wondering. Now here is Delilah. Now, Delilah, by a contract with the Philistines, who said, we'll give you money or, and all the things that come with it, but you just entice him and let him show you the, the key to his powers. Let him show you the key to his power. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I was fixated with the process. Uh, the Bible said, now, now something goes into Delilah, and then he said he's in her bosom, and then she's asking him, Show me. The first time, he, she asked him, show me. And uh, Samson gave her a, a wrong answer. And she, she told the people, and the people came and tried it. That's the first time. And then she, she went into a tantrum, you know, love tantrum. And yeah, you don't love me, you don't love me. Or should I say like, you don't love me, you don't love me. Or something like that. And then, I mean, she goes... Back to say, okay, look, show me, show me. And then Samson shows her the second time, and she betrays Samson the second time. So twice, Delilah betrayed Samson. And then, with all that going on, she still keeps pressing, and the Bible says Samson's head was in her bosom. So, I mean, Samson was lost. Now, here is the, the, the interesting thing. Samson was very anointed. Samson was very, very anointed. But I realized that you, cannot, you can be anointed, but you don't have common sense. You can be anointed, but you can't see. You can be anointed, but you can't discern. And finally, with all these betrayals, the, the stack of betrayals that, that Delilah had done, Samson still went ahead and gave Delilah the keys to his power. And in the end, she killed him. In the end, the betrayal was so bad that he was taken to the Philistines, and that was it. Now, the question I ask is, didn't Samson see that this woman cannot be trusted? 
You gave her the information the first time, she didn't handle it well. You gave her the information the second time, she didn't handle it well. Isn't that proof enough that you're dealing with something that is going to kill you? That's what happens sometimes. Sometimes there are red lights blinking in certain pathways we have chosen, in certain things that we're doing. And the red lights are there on all the occasions. But you'll be very surprised that sometimes, even though the red lights are blinking, we refuse to see them. And in the end, we walk to our destruction because of those, we, because we ignored the blinking red lights. Now, sometimes God sends red lights in our pathway to our destiny, to where we are, our destination, to where we're going. And he sends those red lights. And those red lights are warning sim signals that stop because there is danger ahead. You ignore the red light to your peril. And there are many of us who have made a shipwreck of our destiny, not because of anything, but because we ignored the red lights. Blinking red lights. Watch out. See you later.